wiping off a little bit of the excess crazy glue while it's still wet. So what are you guys up to right now while you're watching me? What mischief are y'all deeply embroiled into? Or has y'all mischief been managed? that are married, yeah, I know you must have been managed <laughs> already. <laughs> Fiance man with me. I'm supposed to eat like five, six meals a day. You know, of course the whole, you know, two big ones, four small ones, but I haven't had a drop to eat today. Tell you, it's gonna just be so much fun walking around looking like Calabrito. Boom, boom, boom. You know. One of the things that kind of shocked me about the character is that for as big as he is, his feet are pretty much normal size. I'm kind of surprised. Which I'm happy too, because for me, that makes it easier to walk around, take up, take stairs, and all that other good stuff because, you know, I don't have to make it, you know, too much longer than my actual foot already is, so. That's good. Because trying to take stairs and oversized feet, definitely tricky. You gotta kind of walk sideways or just be smart and take ramps or elevators. some cosplays back in the day to where there was like no way in the hell I was taking the stairs. <laughs> it was ramps or elevator access only for my ass.
want some hot glue back in here. It's a big enough gap for it. So I'm going to let that cool actually for a little bit before I press it. That way hopefully that will reduce any chances of any any hot glue oozing up. Some still might though, but... So once I'm done with this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and um, get my Dremel again, and I have to smooth the entire edging all around it, it helps hide the seams and stuff. And then I can glue in the inner piece on here like I did on the other one. Um, and then this would be ready for the rigging process where I'm, I'm going to be installing like loops on the inside that I can string a belt through. Which I'll, I'm going to cuff to make out of nylon and have on uh, the parachute clips. He also has some gears um, on the inside of, of this plate. You kind of see it between um, the thigh plate pieces and right behind the car piece. You see parts of it, kind of like cabling um, coming out. So I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to do that so that attaches to. Um, he has like an ab plate as well, so I'm trying to decide whether I'm just going to make all that connect to the ab plate, or am I going to figure out a way to maybe use that in my belt process, making the belts, you know, for the waist. I was trying to think which way would be easier, you know, but still, you know, really, really effective. Yeah, definitely can't wait to put my graphics card in today. Because that's going to also increase the quality tremendously on my stream. The actual picture quality. Oh, it's going to make a huge difference. Because right now, at least the middle is kind of fuzzy a little bit. Kind of soft. So, once I get that in there, it should be a night and day difference. Still can't believe just how heavy that thing is. It's got some weight to it. Brushing away the um the strings <laughs> from the, the hot glue. And I do want to I'm either gonna hit this with the Dremel again, just along the edge, or I might just um put in some more valve damage. Which actually I might do that, have it come right right up over it. They'll add to it. 
And sometimes, you know, it's easier to just like draw in the bowel damage first. That way, um, you kind of know where you're going to place it at, and you can look at it and see if it looks good to you or not. If it all connects, so to speak. Like, I have it to where you got some marks here going at an upward angle, and then you see it as well here going that same angle, and then over here, same angle. So it has a uniformity to it. It's not me just doing shit everywhere. So it looks like he's raped up against something, you know, or something trying to attack him, like a swipe. So, that's in place and looking decent. So now I can go ahead and um, use the Dremel. Start smoothing everything out on the edges and do in all my battle wounds. And of course for that, I'm going to a lot of sanding. I'm going to put my mask back on and I will meet my stream. Oh, my mic really.